puts out my arch feet of chaos. This is your king and knight, Vincent Valentine, EX Turk. to Vincent Valentine EX Turk Channel. What's up, my arch fiends of chaos? This is your king of the night, Vincent Valentine X Turk, coming back to you with a brand new video. Now, this is another fan theory and fan fiction one right here, but we're still in the Kingdom Hearts bracket because Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy 15, and Final Fantasy 7 Remake are such hot topics. I'm still going to keep this bracket a up a little bit and then switch it up. But anyways, I never got to do Leon's story, backstory. I did Cloud's backstory about how he turned into, and tell, and tell, um, uh, uh, how he turned into Dark Cloud, which that's when he gets a black wing. So let's talk about Leon. Now, in the Kingdom Hearts verse, all the worlds are connected. The Disney worlds and the Final Fantasy worlds are connected in the Kingdom Hearts verse. So, let's start with the Final Fantasy verse. You know, in the Final Fantasy verse, I mean, in, in the Final Fantasy verse, since Leon is actually 30 years old and not, and not, um, what he was, like, close to his 20s in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. This would have to be right after Final... way years after Final Fantasy VIII, so... Squall would have already defeated... Squall would have already defeated Ultimecia. In this verse, at least, this universe. Squall has already defeated Ultimecia with his party. Now, the reason why he forgets his name, Squall, or wants to forget the name Squall, is... Just like Cloud... Sephiroth has caused the natural disaster because they said in the Kingdom Hearts verse that the Final Fantasy characters suffered a disaster that destroyed their world. And my theory is Sephiroth was that disaster. Remember, Sephiroth in the Kingdom Hearts verse is different than the Final Fantasy VII verse. And in the Final Fantasy VII verse, yeah, Sephiroth was evil. You know, even went too far and almost destroyed the world. But in Kingdom Hearts, he's pure evil. He's like Arden evil, you know, except the difference is he's ferocious. Sephiroth will kill anyone and anything that comes near him. Even if it's, I mean, Sephiroth in the Kingdom Hearts verse, that's why he has a blue wing. Because Sephiroth is pure evil. And since the Final Fantasy worlds are connected, pretty much Sephiroth kills all of Squall's friends in the Albania Garden. The only one who survives is C Cypher, but for some reason, uh, Cypher is young. So, I think what happened to Cypher is he went back in time and got the young Cypher and, and, and saved, he, it saved him. Even though Cypher, even though Squall never really liked Cypher, you know, but, you know, he would still help. And this is could also contribute. This will also could kind of contribute to the reason why Squall or Leon wants to hunt Heartless down. And made an organization to hunt Heartless. Because he saw the terror that Sephiroth has caused his people. Because again, Sephiroth is pure evil in the Kingdom Hearts verse. That's why his wings are bluish black. He's pure evil. Like, dude is like satanically evil. Like, you know, you cannot reason with him. He, I mean, you're, you're more likely to be able to reason with Arden than you are with Kingdom Hearts versus Sephiroth, you know. Like, the dude's a straight-up savage. That's why he was hard in the games. Because, you know, he, he had the intent to kill. You know, in Final Fantasy VII, Sephiroth played around. But this is not about Sephiroth. But I'm saying Sephiroth has killed and wiped out Squall's friends. Except for the ones that were able to go to the Kingdom Hearts first. And the ones that were kids and the teenage uh, Cypher are pretty much the cause... Are pretty much uh, are, are pretty much the cause of him going back in time, using the uh, you know somehow using the time compression to save them, to save the ones he can save, and his world was destroyed by Sephiroth, which makes him want to hunt down Heartless, and that's why he confuses Sora for a Heartless in the beginning because well, that's why you want to forget the name Squall and want to be called Leon because he wanted to forget the tragedy that he could not stop, 
and Eris being around him cheers him up, but he still wants to forget the world name Squall and wants to be called by his nickname Leon because he lost everything. The man had you can't you can't be mad at me. You can't be mad at him. The man has lost everything. Just like Cloud. Now the difference is Squall never went evil, but he's harsh on heartless. You know, if if Z if if Zemnis would have came in front of Squall, Squall would have just straight up murdered uh you know, you know, butcher the crap out of Zemnis because he hates Heartless, and understandably so. I mean, Zem, you know, Sephiroth destroyed his world so, as well. Since all, since the in the Kingdom Hearts universe, all the worlds are connected like it is. The Disney worlds and the Final Fantasy worlds. That disaster also split the worlds too. You know, because Sephiroth did all of this before. You know, because Sephiroth has done this in between the Xehanort saga. Like, the beginning after Terra turned to Xehanort. You know, you know, so pretty much, yeah. That's his backstory. He lost a lot of things, except he went a different route than Cloud has. But Cloud feels more responsible since Sephiroth was his heartless. You know. So that's why uh, Squall is dead set on hunting out Heartless. And why he created the organization and why Squall's 30 years old. Because Squall grew up in a darker future than in the Final Fantasy verse. Which is kind of funny because Kingdom Hearts is supposed to be a kid's game. But the Final Fantasy characters go through a darker story than, than, um, than the Final Fantasy counterparts. But it, of course they can show that. But that's what happened. At least that's what I theorized. So that's my theory on Squall. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share, do all that good stuff, and may the crystal be with you.